I recently saw a poll tweeted online from Zach at Windows Central asking people if they thought Windows 11 was good or bad. And I was quite shocked to see that the vast majority of people agree that Windows 11 is actually good. I fall into that camp. I like Windows 11 a lot. And that actually has inspired me to make this video today. We're going to look at a handful of my favorite tips and tricks to improve your Windows 11 experience. So the first one comes with tweaking maybe the most controversial thing about Windows 11, and it is the placement of these icons on your taskbar. People may not realize this is optional because you can right click your taskbar and click on taskbar settings. You can click on taskbar behaviors and you can change the alignment from center to left. If you prefer that left alignment that you're so used to from Windows, you are free to do that there. You can also declutter the taskbar from this menu. You probably by default have all of these things on your taskbar. Maybe you don't want them. Maybe you don't want this widgets panel. Well, you can get rid of it. Maybe you don't want the task viewer. You can get rid of that. Maybe you do not use the chat function. You can hide all of these things. And there's also a search box that again, if you don't use, you can hide it, making this look much, much cleaner. You can do a similar thing with the start menu and click on start settings and you can change how many things are pinned versus recommended. By default, you're here in the middle with quite a few things recommended and fewer pinned items shown. I prefer having more of my applications and if I could get rid of the recommendations completely, I would remove them. I don't use that at all. I would just get rid of that, but you can at least make it so that there aren't very many. And I think that that is a nice improvement. What about just the appearance of the thing. Let's click on personalization and let's enable dark mode, which is what I already have running. But if you want to do this, what you're going to do is like I said, personalization, then colors by default. We are on a light mode. And I think that, you know, look, it looks okay, right? But for some people, they prefer dark mode. This is where you're going to turn that dark mode on and make that quick change. If you're on a mobile device, a laptop or a tablet, this might even save you a little bit of battery life. What about ads? Do you want ads inside Windows 11? No, of course you don't. So what you can do about that is you can click on privacy and security, general, and then look for these things here. Show me suggested content in the settings app. How about no? You can also turn off some tracking on all of these things here. Let websites show me locally relevant content by accessing my language list. How about no? Let apps show me personalized ads by using my advertising ID. That one's not going to get rid of ads. In fact, you may want to leave that on because what this will do is it'll make the ads that you're going to see in these apps basically create ads that are more relevant to you. So, you know, bear that in mind. You're still going to see the ads. You want them to be relevant to you and access your data to personalize them, or you want them to just leave you alone and just show you whatever ad they just can randomly generate. That's up to you to decide. Back in personalization again, go down here to device usage and you can turn off all of these boxes that will give you personalized tips, ads, and recommendations within Microsoft experiences. If you're getting notifications from programs that you just don't want to see, click on system, go into notifications, and you can pick different apps. Like let's say you don't want to get a notification from G Hub anymore. You can turn that off. You can also click on this and change how these notifications actually are shown. Do you want a banner? Do you want them in the notification center at all? Do you want a sound to be played? You can customize all of this to your heart's content. And again, you can do this per application in this settings menu. One of my favorite applications that I use all the time is the snipping tool. You can use this to take not just screenshots of your desktop, but screenshots of specific parts of your screen. You can also now use it to shoot actual videos, capture videos of portions of your screen as well. Now you can do this either by launching the snipping tool app or by hitting Windows key shift and then S to start that snip, but there's actually another way to do this and it's found in accessibility. Click on accessibility and then go down to keyboard and you're looking for use the print screen key to open the snipping tool. That print screen key that no one uses anymore can now be assigned to a much more useful task the snipping tool, turn that on in this menu. So another thing on the other monitor, I was on my secondary monitor for most of this, is you can actually customize your quick settings menu. So click down here on the Wi-Fi and your internet thing, 
and you can see how mine only has two things on it. We well, click on the little pin and edit this. You can add different things to this menu or remove things that you don't use. I don't use any of these other things, so I've removed them, making this nice and clean. And lastly, back under system and notifications, there is a cool thing called focus sessions. If you go in here, you can start a focus session, and what this does is it reduces your distractions. When this is on for the allotted time, you won't get badges on your taskbar app. So if you have a message in Discord, it's not going to tell you. Nothing's going to flash down there and do not disturb will be on. So no notifications popping up at all, allowing you to totally focus on the task at hand. Guys, there you go. Those are some of my favorite tips and tricks to get the most out of Windows 11. If you have a tip that I didn't touch on that you think should have been on this list, drop it in the comments down below to help other people out watching this video. And hit that like button on comments that you thought were useful to push them up towards the top. Guys, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.